What's good, y'all? This is CTG Sports Talk. Today we'll be discussing Coastal Carolina, the Chanticleers out of the Sun Belt. Coastal Carolina finished last season 3-9 and nine and looked to improve this season. They brought in transfer quarterback Kilton Anderson from Fresno State, hoping that, that he can spark their offense. Their first game is September 1st at South Carolina. Going to an SEC school is always tough to start the season, especially for these small teams. And I just think so. I just think Coastal Carolina ain't going to have enough speed or power, talent, anything to even compete with South Carolina. I think South Carolina is going to run them out of the building. Then they have a home game against University of Alabama and Birmingham. UAB finished last season, if I'm not mistaken, with seven wins. And they were a pretty good team. Won their first bowl game, and they just look like an all-around good team. I don't think Coastal Carolina's going to win this game either. Then they catch a break. They face the Campbell Camels. Yes, I said that right. The Camels. I'm just going to give them the win just because of the name. The Camels. Win for Coastal Carolina. Then they start conference play against University of Louisiana Lafayette. This is going to be an interesting game. I think that QB Kilton Anderson is going to be a decent quarterback this year based on just what he did at Fresno State. But I still have UL Lafayette edging him out in this game. Then they travel to face one of the best teams in the Sun Belt, if not the best team, in the Troy Trojans. Y'all already know I'm high on Troy this season. And I just don't think Coast Carolina can get it done this year. And then going into the next game, they have a bye week. Then they face University of Louisiana Monroe. Y'all Monroe is actually going to be coming up probably in my next video. And they're going to be a decent team this year. They're going to be much improved off last year's team, I think. We'll have to wait and see, though. Another loss. Then they face UMass. UMass, it's always if you have UMass. But it's going to be a very hard-fought game and competitive but I have UMass ed edging out Coastal Carolina for this game. <coughs> Sorry about that. Then they go to Georgia State. The Georgia State Panthers are still going to be somewhat competitive in the Sun Belt this year, and Coastal Carolina is still relatively new to being FBS. It's going to be tougher than to compete for a little while. And I have them losing this game. Then they have a home game. At least they get at Palachian State at home. But I still have App State winning that game. Then they face Arkansas State, who is another team I'm pretty high on. I have them losing that game. But then, this is going to probably be one of their best games of the year. Georgia Southern. Georgia Southern went from running more of a triple option attack and, you know, since forever. I mean, Paul Johnson ran triple option there, and he's now at Georgia Tech. And you see what he just does at Georgia Tech. And everybody since then's run triple option. Now they run more of a read option style. RPOs and that kind of stuff. And we're just going to see how it goes. I mean, they started doing more of that last year. And they had one of their worst seasons in recent memory. But And I have them winning this game. I have Coast Carolina edging out Georgia Southern. Then they go to South Alabama. This is a toss-up game. This is I almost flipped the coin for this game. I mean, it's, I was like, heads for South Alabama and tails for Coast Carolina. Well, I'm guessing I flipped and it landed on heads because South Alabama's going to win this game. Thank you very much. Don't forget to hit that like button subscribe. Thank you. Bye.